remember his larger than life personality and just the confidence, you know, the confidence, the, the charisma, yeah. um, extremely funny um, and always laughing. When me and Paul first um, were sort of trialled out for S Club and, and um, uh, part of our job was just to sort of see if we got along and we obviously <laughs> met and we were like, ah, we know each other. Me and Paul decided to rent a flat together. Oh, it was proper, not grotty, but like it was on the corner. Was it above a shop? What was it like? No, it was, but it looked like, like it used to be like a corner shop. They didn't turn romantic oh. during the time that we were at that, um, that, at that flat. We were in the band. We knew we had to be in London every day and we knew each other really, really well and we were good friends. Yeah, and we just started hanging out more um, in the evenings after work and stuff and like that. And, and yeah, and then we started going over to each other's and watching films and stuff like that. Yeah, after work, go on long night drives in LA. It's just beautiful going up into the hills and stuff like we that. Watch and together. Yeah, mm. that sort of thing, yeah. There was about a six month period, I think, of um, us being around. to get, yeah, yeah. Sneaking, sneaking around, you know, going to each other's apartment and then one end up crashing at the others and, you know, and then having to sneak back in the morning. And to be fair, they probably all, all knew anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no one wanted to say anything. No one wanted to say anything. Um, but it, it just got to the point where we, had to say something. All right, Bradley, keep your hair on. I will, Paul, with Windleberry Wig. Windleberry Wig, supporters of S Club 7 and Bull people. I imagine the conversation of us telling them mm. would have been, would have been in, in LA, and I'm sure the reaction was something like, <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, we, we knew something mm. <laughs> was going on, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, the whole thing was like, was like, a, <sighs> honeymoon like we had a huge honeymoon period because you know also we were loving life in jet we were young we were loving life in general i don't remember a day when i felt bad <laughs> because i remember we used to fall asleep all the time because we were working long hours every day. <laughs> um, so we would always find a place. We'd work in hotels a lot, and so we'd always find a place if we were there early and we had to get into makeup, um, like underneath a, the, you know, a table or something. So we'd always snuggle together wherever we were. I think throughout the whole of S Club, it was right up until the end, it was, pretty rosy, you know, we didn't have really any problems. Let's say you were to continue your life in a pop band, then, then I don't know, we might have lasted, but mm. that's, not, that's not real life. And um, ultimately, you know, things weren't quite as easy or maybe we just weren't as compatible mm in a real life situation. So we didn't like, we didn't begin to dislike each other. Um, was there arguments? Was there and there was never, this is the issue, no. there was never any arguments, which was probably the problem. <laughs> Sometimes, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I think w we then were shown quite a lot of difference in, in character. 